Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of meconium in amniotic fluid. This is a very common case, but most of the time we make over diagnosis. A 20 year old female patient came with a full term pregnancy. She complained about the abdominal pain. We were suspecting that the patient is on labor, and she also complained about the less fetal movement. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. According to her LMP, it was a 40 weeks and 3 days of gestation. Femoral length was quite similar to that as the head already crossed the pelvic brim, so our head related measurements were a little small. But the estimated fetal weight was more than 3.5 kg, so we are not focusing on fetal growth restriction here. Fetus was on cephalic presentation and the placenta was anterior. The cardiac pulsation was also normal. Now let's focus on the amniotic fluid here. In this part of amniotic fluid adjacent to the fetal lower portion, you see it's not anechoic. You can see the umbilical cord vessels which are appearing as anechoic, but the fluid is not anechoic. Rather, you can see echogenic dense sediments within the fluid. This is the fetal leg. So this echogenic debris or sediments containing amniotic fluid represents the fetal meconium, which was further confirmed during caesarean delivery. Here is a picture, you can see the echogenic debris within the amniotic fluid and these are the umbilical cord vessels. So, in summary, dense echogenic sediments are noted within the amniotic fluid, especially adjacent to the fetal buttock, indicating it as meconium stained amniotic fluid. Now, the take home message detecting meconium on ultrasound may cause an overdiagnosis, so it's wise to be careful before reporting. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And obviously visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.